I believe you when you talk about the past. And I believe you and I are friends at last. All the silence in this world won't change my mind. Talk about tomorrow or another time. Hello folks and welcome to another episode of Stevie's Vinyl Cupboard and in this episode we're just going to have a general rummage around other factory records. Yes, absolute star record by The Wake. Let's get to that later. Um, I haven't actually got many other factory records. I've got a bit of, as you'll see from my other videos, which I shall bung in the links, uh, I've got quite a good selection of Joy Division. Uh, well, that's not much, but you know what I mean. Uh, and I've got, uh, I say, most of the catalogue uh, before I stop collecting it of New Order, and most of it is uh, original. But I picked along, picked up along the way other kind of favourites that came up, or when I just saw Factory, because I by that time liked um, the the. Uh, uh, Peter Sandal Associates designs the covers and thought they're work of art. Uh, I know some people collect all the, the fax numbers, uh, not me, but if I've seen them, I've come along. So I've got a few, uh, I've got a few 12 inches, a couple of LPs and some seven inches. So let's start on fact 29. I can't even remember what the hell this is. Um, so fact 29 is uh, the names. Uh, and that is, um, I wish I could speak your language is the B side and on the A side we have night shift. So that's fact 29. Um, I said, remember putting them in order. Uh, the names, uh, that's, uh, oh, is that factory balance nine, uh, 1981, produced by Martin Hammett, uh, the names Calcutta postcards. Um, this one's a bit of a laugh. Uh, if you see the video on YouTube, uh, I, I struggled to watch it to the end, uh, but the mini pops uh, were a bit of fun. Uh, so we've got the mini pops, the factory records product, fact 31. Um, might be a good idea if they want to sell a record to tell what the title of the uh, um, photos by mini pops. So there we are, oh, yeah. Dolphin Spurt, uh, Dolphin Spurt and uh, Goddess, uh, Goddess and Dolphin Spurt. Um, am I holding that the right way? Um, yeah, I, I, I'm not sure, uh, I mean two minds about the girl, I don't want to slag them off, but um, not, not my taste, but uh, a good bit of fun. Um, Island Secret Story, fact 57 by the Mini Pops. Again, lovely colour, lovely bit of artwork. 1982, uh, produced by Mini Pops. Well done, Factory Communications product. So, you know, we collect these kind of things for the uh, scene. So uh, I might do a video on the Mini Pops, who knows? Um, <clears throat> one which you may know, I get along very, I get along uh, without you very well. Deruti column. So Vinnie Riley, get along with very well. Uh, sorry, my eyesight's a uh, prayer. Yeah, so cover design there. And what factory is Fact 64 for a factory product? Um, right on the bottom there. So that's that. Then uh, a favourite, a little favourite of mine. Um, I should put my glasses on really. Stockholm Monsters. Absolutely love this group when they came out. Sadly, only uh, produced by Mike Johnson, only one LP. Fact uh, CV2. Uh, what does that mean in Roman numerals? Um, National Pastime. Uh, maybe I'll put a link on that at the bottom. National Pastime and All at Once. And All at Once. Yeah, so really like that one. Uh, what else have we got on the seven inch singles? Um, Life. Side A. Tell Me, Tell Me theme. Uh, so Life. 
don't know anything about that, sorry. So you can look it up. Factory Records, uh, which factory record is it? Fact, fact 106. Fact 106. Uh, then if you saw one of my earlier videos, uh, £1.99. Uh, wow. Well, was that uh, fact 272? So happy Mondays, step on. Um, so I saw it there and I thought, oh, yeah, factory records. So uh, we'll have a bit of that. Uh, now we get to the LPs. Um, so, uh, yeah, let's go to the wake. So, firstly, an EP, talk about the past. Uh, that's 7 12 inch 1980. Four, number 11 uh, and that was fact 88 absolutely love that when it came out um, everybody worked so hard talk about the past piano by Vinnie Riley of um, what's the name uh, also got the wake uh, something outside so 1983 so that was before it um, Side. So, have I got an LP here? Yes, I know I've got an LP. Now, the first LP <coughs> was called Harmony, and that was on Factory 1982. So, that was the first attempt. I thought this was a bit of a kind of, um, it was a bit kind of, I don't know, trying to sound a bit like Joy Division or find their own way. Um, didn't really like it. I can't say it's one of my favourites now. Um, actually, just looking at the internet, uh, my favourite LP, I think, was the next one, which was 1985, The Wait Here Comes Everybody. And I've just been looking on Discogs, the medium price for that is £62 of original. But I have an original a Harmony, so I'll have to make do with that. Uh, I think they reissued recently, Here Comes Everybody, uh, by The Wake. That's actually uh, more of a favourite of mine with the wake uh, but love the way I actually saw the wake live uh, supporting New Order in Town Hall in Bournemouth um, didn't realize who they were at the time but uh, there we go another favorite and this one uh, sadly um, yeah 1984 uh, I believe this was their only LP and that's the Stockholm Monsters Alma Mater on Factory uh, and if I click uh, where I belong, um, life's two faces. I actually prefer the uh, the single national pastime, uh, but still uh, a very good album. Really good, very underrated, I think, the Stockholm Monsters. I think this album was produced by Peter Hook of New Order. Uh, it's a little favourite of mine, but they didn't last very good. Yeah, Peter Hook produced uh, Mike Johnson, Engineer. Trevor Johnson, Sleeve Design and Lettering. Well, there we are. Uh, so Stockholm Monsters, that's another favourite. Uh, so Daruti Column. Daruti Column, uh, again, uh, this is one of my uh, fave albums of Factory, The Guitar and Other Machines by Daruti Column. Uh, Factory 204. I haven't got called up the information on that, um, so you're going to have to trust me. Uh, but yeah, I like that album. And I think I've got one left on other factory. Uh, just triangles, uh, favourite paintings and Zimmy. So piece for an out of tune grand piano, Druti column. Um, nice EP. Uh, so that's bits and bobs of other factory records. And I'll just show you something else just to finish off. Uh, treated myself to a Christmas present uh, a few years ago. Um, so this book, The Complete Graphic Album by Matthew Robinson, uh, Fact 461, details all the Factory Records covers uh, and you've got all on there on the back as well. So um, I'd recommend going through that. If, uh, some great artworks in Factory, so I'd recommend getting that. Okay, thank you for another episode and um, we'll finish off uh
Shall we finish off? Yeah. No, I think we'll leave it there. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. See you. See you once again. Thank you. Have you heard the good news? Everybody is a star. Have you heard the good news? Everybody works so hard. I believe you always wanted emptiness. And I remember I was full of happiness. <laughs>